What's up y'all, it's Brian Keith and I'm back with another video. And today we're gonna to be talking about episode one of Big Brother. So far, the little twists and everything that's going on is kind of interesting. I mean, they had a year to really figure this out with the BB Motel, BB Fest, and again, with the $750,000 cash prize for the winner. Y'all, I already know it's about to be really good. All right, if this is the first time you see my face, please subscribe, help the channel, and if this is like your second, third, fourth, fifth time coming to my channel, just subscribe. Come on, like, comment, subscribe, and let's get into the video. Yeah, let me check my check my shit real quick. Hotter than the fire, come out my flame and lips. You wanna play with me? You can't play in me. On the playground, bitch, you can't play with me. Got it, want it, secure it, the bag. All right, y'all, so basically, the show's open up with Julie, just doing her normal introduction, and you know, expect the unexpected. That's the theme of the show. So we get introduced to the first four people, and I put down like a chart of like, do I think off of first um, impressions? Like, are they a coaster, a leader, loudmouth, collaborator, collabor collaborator, um, floater, and like gamer? Like, these are basically like categories you see on the screen of what I feel like these contestants are based off of like my first interaction. This is going to be a short video because it wasn't really that much content that went on, but let's get into it. We got Jasmine Davis. She's a country girl from Atlanta. Um, she's very beautiful. I don't know. Like when I was looking at her, I was like, is she white? Is she black? Like, is she mixed with something? But I think she's a little white girl. Um, she said her dad loves Big Brother. He um, died, unfortunately. So she's playing for him. And she gives me like a coaster. Someone that is just like maybe trying to just get as far as they can. I don't know if she's going to make any moves, but you know, it happens and then we got Kyle is a content creator who is unemployed live with his mom and he basically was like you know I'm if I have to do a showman's I'll just do it. I'll do anything that's um he seemed like a very a uh, physical competitor he gives me like an airhead aloof he does he said that he's very much like education is like no but physical stuff he's really gonna be like a physical player I put him down as either a leader or loudmouth because he definitely gives me like he is like class clown loudmouth that type of stereotype then we got Paloma she is gorgeous and she is a real estate agent also interior designer um her she's very career orientated and she gives me more of like a gamer a social player collaborator in the game so I feel like depending on where she positions herself she can really make it really far I can see her um in the end but but you just never know. And then the last of the first four is Monty. He's a personal trainer, but he's also a me uh, mechanical engineer. And he's Afro Latina, Latino, and he's very smart and strong. I definitely put him down as either a leader or a floater because he gives me, like, when I was watching him in the, um, later on in the episode during the competitions he really didn't seem like he wanted to win it so i was just like maybe he is not like i don't know his strategy but we'll see either a leader or a floater so they all come in they race into the house they introduce each other did like you know the casual hey girl the girl. <laughs> all this and um so they go back into the backyard and they have to pick tickets in four sections of the house so they each get like a random ticket and then they go to the backyard and they insert their ticket and they have to see which of the stations they're going to be at either the porta potty piercing tent or merchandise stands and one of the tickets will make one of the house guests backstage boss so paloma gets on um, porta potty jasmine gets porta potty monty gets porta potty and kyle gets porta potty so all four of them porta potty straight flesh right <laughs> So we see the next four, which is Alyssa. She's a marketing rep, um, pretty girl. She loves poetry. She's a super fan. She wants to be um, best friends with everybody. She gives me um, like a coaster or a collaborator in the game. Then we got Daniel it is a lot Elvis impersonator. I mean, okay. But he seems like he gives me like either a, a under the radar player or like a snake he does he gives me that type like um like a paul like so we'll see what happens he could be a leader within the house and make moves i mean you find out what happens but you know you never know the taylor she's a personal stylist very confident woman very strong um and she won miss michigan usa and she definitely gives me a leader or a game player i definitely feel like she is very um she thinks about her next moves and very um calculated so we'll see what happens um in the game michael is a what do i say 
why I said criminal child. Michael is a criminal defense attorney. He is a member of Mensa. Crazy, super smart. He is openly gay. He is engaged to his um, fiance, and we love to see it. So he's a super, super fan, and he has like a whole book like of every episode like basically going off all the strategies that he would do i'm just like okay he's not playing so i definitely said that he's strictly a mental player he doesn't give me physical he doesn't give me like um like a coaster he definitely gives me someone that can like be a mental player um so they all went to the backyard and did a little whole pick the little tickets and everything daniel gets merchandise tent Alyssa gets merchandise tent taylor gets piercing tent and michael gets the merchandise tent the next four comes in we see nicole she's a private chef she is what 45 years old she looks amazing for 45 i mean black don't crack um and she's a personal chef on yachts she's also a lesbian and she used to be a police officer you know um, we had a police officer that that one before that was undercover. So I don't know if she's gonna even bring that up I wouldn't but because um, I know for me if someone was like, yeah, you know, I'm a police officer. I'm like, okay So they have some type of Commons well, I can't say common sense, but she gave me like she got common sense But she said she's a super fan of big brother and her mother um basically had cancer and she's in recovery now so congratulations to her mother and yes yeah, she's just like you know she's playing for her mom she's just trying to get it done and i think like she's one of my favorites so far um then we got tucker he's a thrift um, thrift store owner um rug shack he's hippie feels like he feels like he's gonna win and he has a lot of controversy around him about his like twitter shenanigans and the comments that he, him and his sister has made because his sister basically put him out basically saying that he says the n-word and says this that, and the third but sweetie you do too so i mean you put yourself on blast just like you put him on blast but karma so he gives me very much either a floater or a snake so he would definitely be someone that I personally would look out for just off of like watching through TV. But that's just like, you know, I'm watching. <laughs> I'm a viewer. But so Joseph is basically the new house guest that took the place of the other guy that got. Um, I don't know what happened. Maybe, I think maybe he had COVID. I don't know. But he's a lawyer, personal trainer, and his body is one. His body is amazing. Oh, uh, body goes okay super smart he's middle eastern and he gives me like very much frat very much like you know i'm a big flirt i'm gonna like do what i gotta do just flirt with good, give him the money he definitely gives me like a collaborator maybe he could be a leader a coaster there's a lot of like very smart people in this group so we'll see what happens with that so we got um they all went to the backyard they all um, Nicole got porta potty, Turner got Pearson tent, Joseph got Pearson tent, and Brittany got Pearson tent. So we see the last set. I think it's the last set. We got the last set of four. So 16 house guests all together. So we got Terrence. He's a bus operator. He loves meeting new people. He's from Chicago. He's also a DJ called him DJ Showtime for karaoke. De gave me dad vibes all the way. We'll see how this happens where you got baby boomers, millennials, um, what Gen X all in the house to see how this goes because I've seen a little bit of the live streams and he, he's just basically trying to warm up and try to get to it. So, you know, I'm just really trying to figure out everything, you know, with him. You know, I'm want to root for I want to root for him, you know. So, he gives me definitely like under the radar. You really don't know what he's going to do cuz he's very quiet. He looks like he's observing, but he definitely gives a coaster. Um, you got Andy, she's a corporate flight attendant from Brazil. She has a heavy accent, so I would definitely have to like pay attention to what she's saying because she talks super fast and she has like a heavy accent like I said she grew up on um, poor and wanted basically wanted a better life for herself and she said that she was going to try to keep her mouth shut because she is very like she has a um, big personality and she likes to like talk a lot and so she, she was just trying to keep it down so she gave me very much under the radar or loud mouth then we got Pooch, um, his name is Joe, he's a college coach, uh, college football football coach, um, or assistant coach, um, super fan, he's working on his second degree, I basically put him down as a collaborator or a coaster, maybe he can be a leader, cause he is a, that's what he really does in his like everyday life, so maybe, and then we got uh, Amira, she works for Google, the fuck, and she says she's very adaptable, she grew up with, um, 
grew up with a single mom and she would basically identifies herself as a strong woman she opens her mouth at any time and she makes sure that she has like a voice but she said that she wants to be under the radar and off the radar in the house so she definitely gives me coaster floater maybe a gamer because she is a smart woman but you never know so all right y'all for all the britney fans i apologize i forgot all about her she's a hypnotherapist from atlanta georgia and she's also a belly dancer and she says that she might use her hypnotherapy on the house guests, but you never know. But she definitely gives me um, a coaster or a gamer. Ooch, he gets the backstage pass. And that's like one of the house guests like gets the backstage pass. Well, he got it. I definitely forgot about it by this time because this is the last four. So I was like, oh, somebody finally got it. Forgot all about it. But he got the backstage pass. And basically the backstage pass, they're, um, they are, the boss is safe throughout the whole week so he gets to go to the next week untouched and he actually gets to pick three other people to join him backstage you cannot vote in the live evictions they cannot compete in any competitions but they cannot be nominated but they can still be voted out the house but he's safe they're not and i'll be pissed off if he would have like picked me like if you would have picked me i've been pissed i'd be swinging like no he, the way he did it was fair but still so Everybody's in their stations, and it's the first competition, the porta potties, and it's basically a memory challenge. And with the porta potties, they had to listen to videos and see. They had like three different buttons, and see if um, the person said one, two, or three within like, the recordings. So the first eliminated was Paloma, the second was Jasmine, the third eliminated was Nicole. And mind you, they got slimed, like, like literally like Nickelodeon slime boom like I've been pissed because I know I would did my hair my hair would have looked fly and my hair would have messed up I've been pissed the fuck off because I don't know if they're gonna get my hair like real fast dye my hair I don't know I don't play with my hair but they all got slime full body and then the last out was Kyle so Monty he won the first um challenge and I'm like okay go on Monty and then the second comp was a quick puzzle. They both basically, basically had to put on different earrings and all over their face and had to copy this diagram that was posted up. And basically the piece of earring has to be placed on their face in the right order that their diagram is. And then you hit the pressure button. So um, everybody went through it. Um, it was, I forgot who was in it, but Turner won it. The one that I said was a snake in with the controversy, shock. I, he didn't really give me like a competitor, but you know, he won, hey. So the third competition, the winner, um, I ain't gonna tell you what, it was the merchandise stance. It was like an endurance. You had to hold yourself up. I would have beasted through that, okay? But you know, to each his own. So the hanging from t-shirts uh, in the last to fall wins. So Alyssa went out first, Amira went out second, Indy and Michael went out third and fourth, and then Daniel won. So Daniel Turner and Mike and um, Monty were the ones that made it to the HOH round. The winner of this basically wins HOH for the rest of the week. And I did not expect this person to win because I thought we're gonna get to it. So the HOH is basically safe for the week and um have to nominate two people to be up for eviction like but like i said with the backstage pass thing you don't know who's still going home because they get either the back door or i really don't know what's going on but i'm thinking like a back door situation you never know so um basically um turner monty and daniel had to put together a drum set and it's like a like a puzzle endurance thing so they're trying to put together this drum set and um daniel was ahead from go monty basically seemed like he was struggling and he was taking a, a slow so even when he started i was like why is he taking so long like it does not take it that long to try to put something together like beast mode but i don't think he probably wanted to win it but daniel won and you know he's the first hoh of the summer congratulations to him pooch basically has to pick three people to be in the backstage you know they can't compete in any competitions and they cannot um they cannot be nominated, but they still can be evicted. So Pooch basically gets um, Paloma, Alyssa, and Brittany. And his whole, I, said, I think the way he did it was fair just because he said whoever got out first for the competition would be the one that would, the one that would be the, the three picks. Um, so he picked them and 
yeah, like now Daniel's gonna have to figure out who is going to be nominated. Um, I don't know what's going on that much. I haven't been watching live streams, but I'm excited to see what's gonna happen. Um, like I said, Big Brother is my show. The next episode comes on on Sunday, so we'll see what happens, who gets nominated. And yeah, I hope you guys like and enjoy. Put down in the comments. Let me know if you guys are liking the commentary. Let me know who do you think is gonna get nominated next week and who do you think is gonna be the first one out. To be honest, I think Daniel might actually go after the two people that made it, Monty and Turner, just because they were up there with him. And that's usually how they do it. They go after the people that seem like a threat. Maybe Turner would be the first one out. I'm going to say it's Turner. He will be the first one out. I don't know. But anyway, like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.